Good evening, humans. Tony Source Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Tiberius figure from Sparrow Toys. I took a look at the Atreyu figure from this line and, much to my surprise, absolutely loved it. So the question is, do I feel the same way about Tiberius? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, Tiberius is definitely a cool looking figure, and a lot of the hallmarks that I liked about Atreyu are prevalent here. Uh, you know, so we got the, you know, the, the armored look, though this is a different armor. Um, but in, in that vein, the metallics they use here on the armor are very sharp. They pop exceptionally well. Um, you know, some very clean lines and paint just pretty much everywhere. Um, and yeah, just really nice defined lines. And it's, it's a very crisp looking figure. And come to the face sculpt and just very, very nice. Definitely has a very unique look. Uh, obviously Tiberius is a tiger where Atreyu was a lion. And uh, yeah, just some really nice work here. And well, you know, a, uh, you know, wash or dry brush might have brought out some details here. Uh, I can understand why they wouldn't do that, especially for an independent line. Uh, they're trying to budget. So they definitely have, you know, the, the black markings for a tiger and, you know, the, definitely the, the white, orange and black that you need to see to have that read properly. And uh, yeah, so it's all, all done well. Color choice here is excellent as well with golds and tans and uh, I guess darker tans. Uh, then we get that really nice kind of bronze, gold, whatever you want to call it here at the legs. Uh, so again, just really nice stuff all around. Sculpt is absolutely beautiful. Uh, as you can see all that detail in the fur and just, yeah, very cool looking figure. So uh, yeah, definitely top notch there. We get a great load out of accessories uh, just as we do with Atreyu. So uh, let's jump right into it. And uh, so for hands, right out of the box, we do get a couple of gripping hands uh, with different uh, hinges. And I will get into that. I got thoughts on that in the next section. Possibly know what they are if you know me. <laughs> then we get a couple of fists and we get a couple of relaxed slash clawing hands, all beautiful. Uh, then we get into weaponry. So we get a giant mace. This looks great. Again, those very vibrant uh, metallics and great detail there. Everything's super, super clean. Great aging too with kind of dents and the textures going on there in the metal itself. Uh, so very, very nice there. Then we get this really cool looking crossbow. Uh, so as you can see, there's kind of a sort of small cat skull or something like that. Uh, there at the front, you get to see the front of the bolt, which has some nice metallic paint there as well. Uh, and then some nice wood grain textures and all of that. Uh, just going on pretty much everywhere here. N nicks and dings here on the trigger as well as the, the end of the, uh, the butt here. So yeah, just really good stuff. Fantastic detailing just all around. And that, that I think is probably one of my favorite things about this line. And then finally, we do get a pair of axes and these look great as well um you know the the bands not being painted i guess kind of makes it lose a little bit uh, not lose a little bit but uh they kind of look like they should be painted but i understand why they wouldn't do that because these are the handle uh so obviously there's gonna be a lot of paint rub there but other than that like brilliant silver great details there with this kind of almost cog looking design going down the blade so yeah just very very cool stuff and that is accessories Articulation here is positively beautiful, just as it was with the Treyu. And uh, yeah, I got my one minor gripe that I'm gonna go over in a second, but uh, you know, let's start off with some very high positives, and that is the head articulation. So we have a ball hinge and then a ball at the bottom of the neck. And I think this is my new favorite articulation scheme for the head and neck because we get all the down, we get incredible up, and we get lots of nice side to side. You can see it's moving there little bit so we can pretty much go wherever we want I just I, I love this combination <laughs> we do have our butterfly joints not quite as smooth as they were with a tray but they're still nice there's there's some sculpting there so that's probably what's kind of keeping this from going quite as smoothly we have our hinge and swivel at the shoulders which brings us into our T bicep swivel double jointed elbows and we come to the wrists and the wrists are hinge and swivel uh, my this is where my gripe is is that the right hand is the vertical and then we get horizontal on the left. However, uh, with Atreyu, I could let that slide because, okay, you know, the, obviously a character in their canon and, uh, you know, has a shield and all that, but this is a dual wielding character. So that should have two uh, vertical hinges. I, I think all weapon holding hands, period, regardless of what the dominant hand of the, of the character is, should be 
verticals, but that's again, a personal gripe. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, then we come down to the diaphragm. We have our uh, standard ab crunch, which brings us actually, good. and then we have a ball joint at the waist combined. They just give us just insane amounts of crunch, insane amounts of arch back. And we even get some really nice side to side. We get rotation there as well. Just all perfectly beautiful. We come to the hips and we're coming all the way out. This like kind of skirt piece does not get in the way at all. So that is gorgeous. We have thigh swivel, double jointed knees bring us to there. And then for the feet, perfect point. Some really insane forward and then some beautiful rocker as well. So that's articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with Atreyu and Kali from the same line. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the Animal Warriors of the Kingdom Tiberius figure from Sparrow Toys is that this is a very solid figure from what is apparently a very solid line. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy I've had a chance to look at these and, you know, just experience them because honestly, the articulation is super fun. The, you know, they, they look great. They're just fun to pose. And, you know, I, so I can't recommend them enough despite my hangups on the, the weird wrist thing. But uh, beyond that, like, just, yeah, cannot recommend this enough. And they are currently available on, uh, or Tiberius rather, is currently available on, I think, Spiro's Toys website and uh, is up for pre-order right now uh, for, I think, a second run on Big Bad Toy Store. So I'll include links to those in the description below if you are so interested. So please check those out. And uh, that being said, I hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that fun stuff. Other ways to help at the bottom of the description as well. And uh, beyond that, I just hope to see you back here because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to uh, tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. Uh, so come on back. Let's talk some toys. And uh, I hope that you are well. I hope that all your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.